thought I was the luckiest guy on the planet at age 35 to be taking over a branch office for a major brokerage firm. Then the knock came on my door from the FBI. I'd taken over one of the fastest growing offices in Chicago from a superstar that had moved on to another office. I thought the world of him and he had recommended me for the promotion. It turns out that a banker and one of my brokers were involved in an elaborate scheme to borrow money from the bank, speculate in options. When the options made money, they kept the money. When they lost money, they wrote it off. The bank wanted their money back when the deal went south. At the same time, one of my cashiers was systematically borrowing money every time she made a deposit in the local bank to the tune of about $30,000. Meanwhile, a group of brokers had set up bookmaking in the office. When the audit team came in to review the compliance of the office, they only, not only failed the office, but they recommended that it be closed. It turns out in the back office there was a stack of certificates waist high from certificate stocks that had not been deposited in clients' accounts. When I met with my boss, not only did he seem not concerned, but he told me that it was my problem to fix. So there I was, no air cover from the boss, the previous manager had moved on, and I had the ball. Well, Two of the individuals ended up in federal penitentiary, one in state penitentiary. We were able to turn the office around and they gained a wealth of knowledge. They say you don't get paid to turn around an office, but I gained enough experience that I had an experience for every rule. And I truly was one of the luckiest guys on the planet.